So right now we're heading down to the River Bell Terrace where we have reservations. So we're gonna go try out some of the foods that they have over there. Hopefully they're good. There's a few things we want to try that are on the menu that we specifically uh, made reservations at the restaurant for. So let's go check it out. First stop on recommendation from the staff here, from the cast members at the River Bell Terrace, we're going to give it a try the Loaded Bites. These are house-made brisket, pimento cheese, and it looks like it has pickled onions, green onions, pickles, barbecue sauce, brisket, tater tots, and some kind of aioli cream. So let's give it a try. It's pimento cheese. Pimento cheese. All right, folks, so let's give it a try. I tried to get a little bit of everything all in one bite. So let's see how it is. I got the brisket, I got the tater tots, I got the pickled onions, and I got the green onions. Let's see how it tastes. Mmm. It's sweet, it's a little sour, it's savory, and it's tangy. Not bad. And it also has, looks like deep fried jalapenos. Not bad. Loaded pretty good. All right, guys, it's my turn to try these. I think they're loaded potato bites. I got jalapeno, so let's see if it's super spicy or not. Really good. It's like sweet and savory, just like you said. It has a good crunch, though, which I like. It's not soggy. I would say a five out of five for sure. Pretty good. Now trying out to our main course. We have our buttermilk fried chicken with a jalapeno slaw, barbecue aioli, and house-made baked beans, uh, baked bean bites. So this is pretty good stuff. Looks like a beautiful uh, deep-fried chicken inside of here. The barbecue sauce, so let's give that a try. All right, this is gonna be a big bite. Oh, right, there we go. Oh. Holy moly. That is barbecue delicious. That is pretty good. Really, really good. Mm. Right away, the barbecue gets all over your face, and that's awesome. The buttermilk the chicken is fried to perfection. It's golden, crispy, moist. The coleslaw gives it a nice like depth and crunch, and just a nice texture to every single bite. So, definitely recommend it. This is actually the top side of the dressing. And I tried it once before with the fried chicken sandwich, but once I tried it, it's, man, it's amazing. So hopefully you like it with this, man. Let's it's give it a, a try. It's a barbecue ranch. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you so much, no thank you. Okay, so on the cast member's recommendation with the barbecue ranch, I'm gonna give it a try on my sandwich. I'm gonna put just a little bit on here. Oh yeah. Are mouse watering? Let's give it a try. <laughs> My mouth right now is the happiest place on earth. <laughs> Alright, so here's the uh, main course and the main star of tonight. This is the spicy grilled chicken and brisket grilled cheese sandwich. They're open face sandwiches like that. It's awesome. It's grilled uh, brisket cheese, hot chicken, and pickled pepper relish and it comes with a little bit of side of baked beans some ketchup some crunchy tater tots on the side so let's give it a try guys i want you guys to see this though this is awesome look at this this thing has layers upon layers upon layers wow let's give it a try wow all right here we go i have no idea how i'm going to get my first bite on this thing I think it has more layers than, uh, than an Eskimo in Alaska. Here we go. Wow. Mm. Mm. Wow. If you're looking for spicy, this is it right here. It is spicy, it is layered, it is cheesy, crunchy, and messy. I love it.
Love it. All right, guys, the sandwich is literally massive. It smells so good. It's like super buffalo-y. Has pulled pork and cheese and everything else. So let's give it a try. It's really good. Super messy. But it's so good. A 10 out of 5 for sure. It's good out of 5. <laughs> it's really good. We have a bonus. We have a dessert here at the Roof Bell Tents. We got the seasonal pumpkin monkey bread with cinnamon. Looks like whipped cream. And it's just a beautiful little pastry, guys. Let's give it a try real quick. Bonus extra. All right, I'm sorry, but I'm a sucker for treats. And I'm a sucker for, for anything that's sweet, especially after something savory and as tangy as it was for our, our dinner tonight here. So I'm gonna give a try to this monkey cinnamon pumpkin bread or whatever the heck it's called. Check it out. We got a little bit of the whipped cream, a little bit of the bread, a little bit of the pudding that's underneath it, and of course, cinnamon. That is good. It's nice and warm. It's light. It's not very heavy. I can definitely taste the pumpkin out of it. The pumpkin and that spiciness and that cinnamon to it. This is perfect. It's a nice, perfect balance to especially the uh, type of lunch that we just had or a meal that we just had. So I would definitely give this a try. The seasonal pumpkin monkey bread here at the River Bell Tanks. All right, guys, I'm gonna give my two tests of this pumpkin monkey bread. It's so good. You can see like all the pumpkin puree on there too. Got a nice bite. Oh my God, so good. It's like everything you could want in a fall dessert. It's sweet oh, and savory. So funny joke, guys, before we leave the River Bell Terrace. Um, the waiter and the uh, buster was coming in to pick up uh, the waters and all the uh, empty uh, dishes that we had here on our table. And then when I handed over the water, I said, hey, here you go, put this back inside the Rivers of America, which is right outside the door. And she said, yeah, of course. And, he, and then she responded by saying, guess where we get our catfish from? This is our first time at this restaurant, the Riverbell. And it's really good, I'd definitely come back again. The menu is not like overwhelming at all. You do have to have reservations, so make sure you book advance because it books up pretty quickly. Um, but yeah, definitely come back for sure. All right, so we're now here at the Hungry Bear. We got ourselves a crazy, crazy looking dessert. This is the cheesecake pumpkin funnel cake, only served here at the Hungry Bear at Disneyland. So let's give it a try. All right, let me cut into it. This thing looks amazing. I don't even want to cut it. I don't want to ruin it. I don't want to do anything to it because it looks so pretty. All right, here we go. It gave me a good bite. I'll make sure I got the pumpkin filling, the pumpkin spice filling. Definitely the cheesecake, the whipped cream, and part of the funnel cake. Here we go. Yeah, mommy, you have to go get your own. I'm not sharing. Huh? It is so good. The funnel cake is super light. It's just enough crisp. It's just enough bite. The cheesecake ice cream is amazing. The pumpkin spice filling is really good. The whipped cream is amazing, guys. You guys should give it a try. Holy moly. This thing is going to keep me up for hours. I don't care. I'll eat the whole thing myself. You're going to have to go get download the app. Mobile order it and pay for it yourself. Run around. So what do you expect when you buy something like this? I expect it to be cold and crunchy, but also sweet and warm. Let's give it a try. Mmm. He's not wrong. This is really good. I wish they put a little bit more of the pumpkin cheesecake filling though. It could use a little bit more. 
But other than that, it's pretty good. Not bad. I'm not like sold sold on it, but it's pretty bomb. So at the Hungry Bear, we saw a really interesting type of uh, drink. This is a watermelon, a frozen watermelon with whipped cream and some cool little sprinkles on top. Let's give it a try, see if it's any good. So it's a watermelon lemonade. Let's give it a try. I'm gonna do the whole Miss Del Fire thing and just stick my face right in it. Mm. Mm. I feel like Miss Del Fire. That is really good. Mm. It's really good. The whipped cream kind of lingers on your face for a little bit. That's awesome. Mm. The lemonade is good, guys. It's perfect for a hot day. It's refreshing. It's not too like sugary. And the whipped cream just makes it like a little bit lighter and creamier. I don't know what it does, but it makes it it's almost like cream soda. But without the soda. Mm. Word of advisement though, make sure to take out the straw before you uh, stick your face in it. Alright Lele, give it a try honey, see how you, what do you think? Is it good? Is it yummy? What? Oh yeah, it's good. Even she likes it. You like it baby? Yummy? Baby, is it good? What? One thing about Lele, if she's telling you no, then she doesn't like it. Either. If she doesn't mind getting more and more and more, then she loves it. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm going to try the watermelon lemonade. That's no fun drinking it through a straw. Mmm, that's really good. I would never think to put like whipped cream on top of lemonade, but it's kind of like a creamsicle, a watermelon creamsicle. It's really good because it's super hot out still, so it like hits the spot. There it is, a perfect way to kind of slow the, the night down here at the Hungry Bear at the Disneyland Resort. You guys got to check out the uh, pumpkin spice cheesecake, uh, funnel cake, and the frozen lemonade, watermelon, creamsicle, crack, what up? This thing is crack. Mm. Give it a shot, guys. Five out of five, Fat Boy Saints on this one.